offered me 34 US dollars for a leather dress, tweed dresses, suits, suede skirts, like insane. $34, like I just spent that at Starbucks and so. As I mean, huh, just getting back in the car, mask was on, so I didn't even bother putting on um, a lip gloss or lipstick. Used to a new, this won't be a week, but just a new vlog. Say moi, Jesse, your resident Francophile, and here on Cappuccinos and Consignment, I focus on lifestyle, travel, and finance. See who play, take a moment to like, subscribe, and follow. Follow me over on Insta. I have a blog, and I am desperately trying to find my way on TikTok. I feel like this is the second vlog in a row I've started in my car. And that's so bizarre because I I can't say never do this because I did it last week, but it's rare that I do this. I typically um, open up the vlogs at home because I'm at home a lot, but that is not the case today. I am out and about. I came out because I wanted to um, drop baby Chena, which is not her real name. It's so funny. New Mez and me who have joined, um, you're so kind. They're like, oh, that's a very interesting name. It's not her name. That's just what we call her on social media because I'm Cappuccinos and she's baby Chena. Well, it used to be baby Chino when I was pregnant before we knew the sex, but baby Chena now. So to drop off baby Chena's clothes because um, she's getting so big and she has outgrown so much. So some things I give to um, relatives and then um, others I had planned on consigning because here's the thing so I just started thrifting again if you are new here I just started thrifting again and at these thrift shops the prices are insane for everything like I'm checking price tags at thrift stores it, it's insane so with that it's like okay I'm donating the clothes to you for free, perhaps, you know, a minor tax credit, but let's not even get into that. You're selling them for almost what the retail price is. Like, it, it, it's insane. So, um, she has some really, really nice pieces, like leather and fur, faux fur, but really, really nice tweed pieces. And so, I wanted to take them to a consignment shop. So, I went into the shop. I'm looking at the prices because it's like, okay, I want to see the price point to make sure this is a good place to consign they're making money but all the things that I had everything in total tweed dresses leather dresses fur so much $34 snow suits new with tags like a lot of the pieces had tags on them suits and crazy so like the husband typically shops for baby china and he does not spare any expenses i would not spend that much on pieces for her because she's a baby but how the husband is he spools me yeah they offered me 34 us dollars for a leather dress tweed dresses suits suede skirts like insane $34 like I just spent that at Starbucks and so I just got the clothes back the husband's like no we'll give those to relatives so it was a woman behind me a black woman with a little baby on her chest carrier About seven months I gave her the snow suits it's like I would rather give this away than to have some shop give me peanuts and then mark it up anyway so say la vie what um, my family don't want because a lot of the pieces they are like they're very jesse he dresses her like a mini me and not everyone wants their kid to look like a 
old woman on the Upper East Side. <laughs> so what um, my family don't want, I will um, go ahead and list on Posh. But yeah, that, that's insane. So stopped at Starbucks and I think I may stop again because I have a lot of work to do this morning. I posted the campaign that I mentioned in my last um, vlog. And yeah, so let's let's just head back home so I can get some more things done. But I just wanted to check in. There's something else I was going to say. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Alrighty, ciao for now. Yeah. As a me, it is Sunday and it is really, really late. I'm supposed to be like in the shower and all. I <laughs> told the husband to watch the baby so I could go up. He's like, I bet you're going to record. He knows his wife. So it is 9 p.m. Sunday night. And I just wanted to record because I don't think we've spoken since maybe Friday or so when I was doing consignment shopping for baby China, well, selling for baby China. Today, I did some thrift shops and vintage stores and I picked up that, that coat. I purchased the coat, that brown one. I feel like that's promo. That's but the pieces that I plan to sell on um, Posh. Today, I made a few sales over on Posh. So tomorrow, we'll be heading to the post office. I have a lot of errands I need to do for Juju the Camera Kid. And I mean, I'll take you along. But um, today, once I got home, as soon as I got in, I wrote a blog post. So my schedule is like every Tuesday, I put something's in here. I mean, we had like a few days of warm weather and there's like bugs everywhere outside goodness gracious so my schedule is um sunday i post a blog tuesdays i post my weekly vlogs and i want to on like thursday start posting like some kind of 
alternative vlog, like a, a review, a luxury review. I used to do those or a style, something outside of the weekly vlog. So that's what I want to do. But I have a lot of other things that's happening right now. Yesterday, I finally published my how to thrift like a pro. I'm so excited about that because I can give you all the thrift shops, which I have. I um, have that for sale, like um, thrift. But if you don't know like the techniques, and there are techniques to thrifting successfully, like we can all just go to thrift stores and buy stuff. But a lot of times that's how you end up with a closet full of nothing. So I share a lot of tips on the thrift guide. I share um, checklist, um, just a lot, a wealth of information. It's like six pages, in fact. So my my Fami, the subscription group that I have over on Insta, I gifted them a copy of it. I'm um, just for their support because they have been so supportive. I'm still finding my way with um what my subscription group on Insta will look like, but um they've been super supportive. So that was a small token of appreciation. If you are interested in any of my thrifting guides, I feel like I have them for Montreal, Dubai, um Paris, of course, DC. Maryland, Metropolitan, Virginia, but that plan, I plan on expanding um, and having them really everywhere. So that's what I have for now. Yeah, so worked on that well into the night and then today with the blog. So I have so much up here that I'm, that I'm doing that I want to do and I have got to get better at knowing when to turn it off because when you are doing things that you love, have your passion be your career, it's hard to draw those lines like it really is. And I need to get better at setting boundaries. Like I would never say um, work-life balance because that really, I'm not going to say it doesn't exist, but that's just not where I am right now. So yeah, with that, just setting boundaries. And even right now, I'm overstepping my boundaries. The fact that it's half past nine, like, I, oh no, it's not. I haven't been talking that long. It's been three minutes. <laughs> but the fact that I'm recording this late, it's like, stop it. So I am going to end this tonight and we will pick back up tomorrow. I did not do a um, an OOTD really but trying hard. to run out and make it to shops before they closed. And yeah, baby Gina, that's a wild child. And truly, I'll probably wear this on the next vlog. Like you'll see it. I'll post it as a short at some point. So I will I'll see you all demon. Alrighty, ciao for now. Oh, and as you can see, like, I didn't even bother putting on makeup. Like, I knew I would have my mask on. So, c'est la vie, <laughs> truly. Ciao. Hey, Gina. I hope y'all can hear me like it's super windy we stopped at the TJ Maxx they did not have I should have known like I'm looking for storage containers because oh, we may have to just go to the container store I'll see but I'm looking for storage containers because the posh items that I purchased I need to keep them like up and not just um, taking up precious real estate that I could be using for my pieces that I actually wear. So I was looking for like Tupperware kind of storage systems for those. And then a new pair of walking shoes for Juju the camera kid because he has grown so much. Yeah, that was really um, it. So we have a few more errands to run now. This is the thrifted dress that I got yesterday. I could not wait to wear it. I laundered it last night and left it to dry. So super excited to wear this. A mezzanine saw it over on Insta and wanted to buy it. But I'm like, I can't. I simply cannot. It's oversized. It's animal print. Say moi. <laughs> so we're going to run a few more errands and then we will stop at, I'm thinking the container store, but I truly, I just don't want to spend that much money for storage because that's really all it is. It's storage systems that I'm going to put in the closet. It's not going to be out or anything. So maybe we'll stop at a Ross today. Come on, let's go. I, um, this morning did some work, emails,
comments, all of those things. I recorded an OOTD. I don't think I'll post it until tomorrow, but I'll insert it here or do it as a short. I'm thinking I'm going to start doing my OOTDs as shorts versus I'm um, including them here. I don't know. You all let me know what you think. Do you want to see it twice? Do you want to see it in the real and a short? So that and then spoke with the contractor. So we have some, I won't say big renovations happening, but we're moving around rooms in the house. And I'm really excited about that. Juju the camera kid is about to get the penthouse. So I'm thinking the next maybe couple of vlogs, I'll do that separately because not everyone is into like home decor kind of thing. I'll do it separately. Oh, I'll get my door, baby. Do it separately where show you all the before and after of Juju the camera kids penthouse I'm making changes in the dressing room so it's going to be good um yeah let me see you all in a bit because I'm about to get in the car Alrighty, ciao for now it is Tuesday really really early Tuesday morning because I want to have this posted in a few hours um I have been up creating invoices espresso posted that for insta every morning like i record myself creating um, my beverage of choice caffeinated beverage of choice it is typically a single shot of espresso and then later on throughout the day i have a cappuccino by this time i would have usually already gone for my walk every morning we do a walk i record that over, over on insta as well not as much talking as I used to do like when I first started cappuccinos and consignment every morning I would um, go for a long walk and talk extensively avec mes amis but just things have changed like when I um, started doing that that was at the height of stay at home orders and people were home we had more time and it, it was just different you know different times whereas now a lot of people are back in the office so they don't really have time to watch my walkie talkies and that's what I call them clever <laughs> they don't really have as much time to walk my um to watch my walkie talkies and truly those were really time consuming like trying to one walk push a carriage record do captions, do all of those things, and it deleted it in 24 hours. So just there were other uses of my time, and that's really where I am. It's like getting more responsible with my time because I am really responsible. It's I'm really putting my time into better served places and not that catching up with Mezzami via stories weren't um, important. It's just the longevity, like the time that it took to do that, and it deleting in less than in 24 hours just there's other things I could do so I spend that time creating reels because at that time when I was doing like intense walkie talkies I wasn't creating reels so now I'm doing reels I'm on TikTok I'm here it's only me <laughs> it's only me so I have not gone for my walk yet because I'm one baby Chena slept in and I did not want to wake her up because I really wanted to edit this. So most of this vlog is edited. I'm just going to insert this part and I need to pack up some things. I made some cells on Posh. I am um, on the next vlog. I will show you all some more of the pieces I got while thrifting. Actually, let me just show you now. I'll do it now. Okay, again, like we just spoke about this, better uses of time because I didn't get that much. So creating a separate vlog for this would not have been the best use of time. So what do we think, Mezami? I I love, we know how I feel about leopard print. I think it's a neutral. This is Gap, a size six. I have not tried it on to see how it fits, but I don't know if I'm loving it or listing it. Let me know your thoughts. I feel like this was an Ann Taylor. Yeah, it is. I mean, just classic. Look at the gross grain ribbon. Look at this. I think this is a six as well. Was I just shopping in the six section? I feel like the same person donated these things. Like she wore this to work and this was happy hour. I'm just going to throw that out there. That's like my favorite thing to at do thrift at stores. I'm like, I bet this person donated all of this. That's just my silly thing to do. And... The Banana Republic coat. I tried this on actually in the vlog so you all would have seen this. It's a medium. So let me know what you think. Should I love it or list it? These things. I feel like I bought some more. Oh, the animal print dress that I wore yesterday. I'm loving it. <laughs> so um, mercy beaucoup for your love and support. I thank you all so much. This was a shorter vlog because 
last week went over. Like, I'm still trying to get myself back together from Paris to get on track. Like, I wasn't going to post this vlog today. I was going to wait, but it's like, no, I need to get on track. So, merci beaucoup for your love and support. Again, please like, subscribe, and follow. There are new mezzami here, and I am just so delighted. Like, I truly am because um, I've always been told that lifestyle vlogs are just not the way to go. But it is what I can do right now, and I am doing the best that I can. So again, I appreciate you all so much. Share this with a friend, family member, someone you think will love it. I do. I do appreciate it. So until the next vlog or every day on Insta, ciao for now.